Alright, so we're going to work on our next challenge. We're going to get this cat to move right and left. So basically we can get rid of pretty much all of this code. So we're just going to pop it here and start again. Now there's a, a bunch of code that you've been asked to create. So it's, it is a when clicked. Um, but this time what it is is a, a forever loop. Um, and inside that forever loop is some if statements. So I'm going to put in two of my if statements right here. So um, we're going to go into this forever loop and then we're going to do if something do something and then another if something do something underneath it and um, the the something that we're going to do is we're going to move this cat around now you can see right now if you click on this cat you can see as your mouse moves around the X and the Y and uh, the X is obviously the right and left and it goes up to positive 240 and negative 240 and the Y is up and down and obviously that's positive 240 and that's negative, oh sorry, 180 and that one's negative 180. Um, so we want it to move right and left, we're going to have to change its X position. Um, so what we're going to do is we use this um, key pressing. So we go into sensing here and we, we saw it earlier on but there's a, a key pressed um, and it's the same shape as the um, condition of the if statement. So I'm going to drag it in and if you hit the little arrow um, you can choose which key you want to use. So I'm going to use the right arrow. Um, now if the cat goes further to the right you see that the value of X goes up. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the motion section and we're going to go to the change X. Um, we'll drag that in and put it inside here and if we change X by 10 that will change the X position up by 10. Um, now I can test this without even completing the code I can test it so I'm going to hit the arrow and I'm going to press the right arrow and see what happens and it, I can see quite clearly that it goes to the right. Now I can't go to the left because I haven't told it that that's what I want to do so I'm going to hit stop drag my cat back to the middle and then fill out the rest of this so remember we find sensing for key presses change it to the key you want so this time the left arrow and we need a change x block inside of motion so we go here change x now if i change the left arrow by 10 again um, even though i'm pressing the left arrow it doesn't matter it's always going to be doing what it's told because computers are stupid um, they're just going to take this x and add on 10 so adding on makes it go this way so to make it go backwards or to the left i'm going to have to say a minus value so it'll take away what um, whatever value is in here so it should go to the left and um, if you have this piece of code built up and you've tested it you should see that you'll be able to move right and left and that is the whole of the fourth part of this challenge